Happy Friday, everybody. Kat Sievert here with another Friday devotion. We are finishing out our Leaving a Legacy series, where I looked at a few people who've made a big impact on my spiritual life, and hopefully it has got you thinking about your impact that you can leave on others, the way that we encourage each other, and the way that we can grow um, and really share Jesus with others. So we've taken a look at a few different people, and in this last week, I want to talk about uh, my stepmom. You see, my parents were divorced when I was really little. And my stepmom and my stepdad have both been involved in my life for a very long time. Um, but my dad and stepmom had my sister and my brother when I was 11 and 13. So there's a big gap between me and my younger siblings. So I was in high school as my my brother and sister were in kind of preschool or just starting and my stepmom would take them to school. And when I got into high school, she would pick me up on the way into school and she would, um, I would see them not every single day, but she would pick me up. And on the way to school, after she picked me up on the way to my grandma's house, it was only about two miles and she would start to go through this morning routine with my brother and sister. She would tell them how much she loved them and then she would pray with them. And every morning on the way to school, she did the Lord's Prayer and she did a blessing over my siblings. Now again, I wasn't with them every single day, but at nighttime when I was with them, my stepmom did these nighttime bedtime prayers with my brother and sister. Now, back then, I didn't quite understand or know or realize what was happening, but my stepmom was modeling something to me that later became something significant, right? She never once said, come here, let me teach you, come see, like there was no uh, teaching in that sort of sense, right? But my stepmom simply modeled through the things that she did and through kind of the lifestyle that she created with my brother and sister with Jesus being in the home. So my stepmom would do these prayers with them and she would teach them to pray. Now I remember thinking it was probably about seventh, eighth grade when I started going to church and when I learned the Lord's Prayer and I felt like I was really old, right? Because I hadn't gone to church. And I remember looking at my brother and sister who were two and three years old and who were able to say the Lord's Prayer. Now they had done it for so long and they had practiced it and they stumbled over some words, but my stepmom taught them to pray, right? And it was something that was a part of their daily life all the time that they did. They did bedtime prayers and they did morning prayers. Now I remember talking about my grandma a few weeks ago, right? Who did her rosary and who sat by the window and she loved her family faithfully, but I never actually saw my grandma pray. I heard about it and I saw her chair and her Bible and her everything. Um, but she never like sat me down and we, I never heard her pray out loud or do it together. Now my stepmom again, right? She didn't say, come here, let me teach you. She just did it. And I just got to watch, right? Who are those people that are watching us? Because I know my kids learn a lot of things, whether it be good or bad through what I say and what I do right? Whether my kids are watching me pick up a piece of trash that's not mine and just throw it away, or they're watching me um, react to somebody on the freeway. And when they cut me off, my kids are watching and people are watching and they're watching what we say and do, even if they don't say anything. And I didn't understand the significance of my stepmom. And it made me think of this verse. And in Luke 11, uh, Jesus' disciples are with him, right? They're doing miracles and various things. They're watching Jesus do all of this stuff. And while Jesus was praying, when he finished, a disciple said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. So he said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us and lead us not into temptation. You see, Jesus gave the disciples words to say that we now call the Lord's Prayer, but the disciples asked Jesus, teach us to pray. Now, I never directly asked my stepmom to teach me to pray, but I then realized when I had kids, the prayers that came naturally to me were the prayers that I heard the prayers that I saw and I then incorporated in my own life with my own children. People are watching. It doesn't require a degree or extra training or anything, but what are the things that we do and the ways that we love Jesus that other people can watch, they can learn, and they can then model that and do together? 
we get to do this at preschool chapel every single week and I really love it that we always do the Lord's Prayer with the kids and the younger ones right they don't quite know it but as they get older um, they are learning and saying a few phrases and some of them even words well pastor jeremy and i got to model leading the lord's prayer and now we have two classes lead so mrs cheddar's class which is a fours class leads the lord's prayer on tuesday and mrs henderson's class a kindergarten class leads on wednesday and they get to pick different kids each week who lead the lord's prayer and the rest of the kids and we all sing and we all join in and say it together but what an example that is for the younger kids who then get to lead in future years for those who are learning and for us as we grow together in God's word we can all lead and we can help others grow too may you share that with somebody else that they may learn something and grow in their relationship with Christ because of something that you do let's pray Jesus thank you for the ways that you work for the people in our lives for learning God even when we don't know that we're learning or don't know when we're going to need or use it Thank you for my stepmom, for her faith, for her prayers, for um, the tools that you've given me to be able to share that with my family. Um, God, and we thank you for our preschoolers who also say the Lord's Prayer and who are leading even their peers at such a young age, God, that you can use all of us through your strength to give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings to you this week. See you Sunday.